In this video, we're going to cover how to edit pages on your CPCC Google site. We've just created our, our site. Uh, this is the entry point, your home page for your new site. You'll notice a few things. Uh, you have a header up here. You have your left-hand navigation uh, blocks, and you have your main content area here in the middle. Um, default page, your home page, has already been created for you. Click here at the top, you see a little Google Sites bar, and you'll notice a couple of buttons, Create New Page, Edit Page, More Actions, and Site Settings. Uh, we're going to cover in this one, Edit Page. Click on Edit Page, it's going to edit the page that you're on, so you're editing your home page. And for example, let's say that I don't want this to be called Home, I want it to say uh, Welcome. And uh, so I can change that, we can type some text in here. And I can copy that and let's just make a little fake paragraph. And so we can do all the basic editing that we would see in, in many applications. You've got your, I can highlight some text and bold it. I can italicize. I can underline. I can highlight some text and, high, and change, change its color. So there's some red text. I can highlight some and make it a highlight color like yellow. So basic font editing also is available. So I can change the font uh, of, a, of some text and I can also make it uh, larger if I want to or smaller. I have, uh, a, I have the ability to do list. So I can do a numbered list. For example, here we'll do one one, two, three. I can also do just a simple non-numeric list. Apples, oranges, and kiwi. Um, I can indent, which basically takes uh, anything that you type and shifts it uh, over. the right or to the left. You have uh, some options like your alignment. So I can take something, it's automatically left aligned, I can center it, I can right align it. Um, you have an undo option if you make a mistake and you want to go back you can undo, undo, undo. You'll notice it took that alignment and went back to the right and then the center and then the left so it's just going backwards from changes I've made if you're a little geeky and you want to get in here and play with the code and embed some things and do some unique things with your pages you can hit the HTML button and actually work here in the code um, you also have the ability to insert certain types of content for example um, I can insert images I can insert uh, an image uh, so let's add uh, a banner to make it look a little better. I have a couple options. I can upload a graphic or I can actually plug in a web address. A web address would be like the full URL to a graphic. If, say, you had something on an existing website or used Google Images to look. Uh, I can also upload. I can just browse and uh, go somewhere on my computer, like my, my photos or something, and find a graphic that I want to use and select it and then click Open and it will upload that to my website and I just select it and hit add image and it's going to put it right there on my web page. You also have the ability to insert uh, uh, links and tables of contents, horizontal lines, that's just a little bar across your web page. Let's do a link. If I, do, uh, if I have a paragraph and maybe I describe something and say click here, I can just drag over the click here and then either click link right there or insert link either way it'll work and I can actually browse and grab another web page maybe that I've made on this site or I can click on the web address and type in the web address that I want to link to you can choose to open it in a new window if you want and then say OK 
and you can see there it's added my links. If I click that, it would take me to the CPCC website. Um, there's other kind of cool things you can add. You can add a calendar if you've made a calendar using your Google Calendar tool or a document. If you've used Google Docs to make documents or presentations or spreadsheets, you can drop those right in out of your existing student account. I can add uh, slideshows from Picasso. Um, you know, so all kinds of cool stuff I can add in here. After I've made changes to my site and I'm happy with it, I just hit the Save button. And there it's done. Again, if I want to edit it later, click on the Edit button. Make my changes. Um, I can insert uh, tables, rows, and very easy insert a table. Just kind of draw out what I want it to be. So let's say this is date, title, status. January 2010, something to do, completed, very easy, you can add tables on here. Um, if you scroll down a bit, you can attach files. So I hit this little plus marker and it's going to expand out and I can actually browse and let's say drop a PowerPoint presentation, attach it to my web page. I can also add little comments about the page in the footer. So those will be added. And you can always edit the page and come back in here and remove those. But let's save it and you can see what that looks like. There. So they would come to my website. They would see a welcome page, my tables, some text edited, a graphic that I dropped in, some list. There's the attachment. They could actually click here and look at the file. Here's some comments. They could see those. Um, if I decide I don't want the comment, it's a dated, it doesn't apply anymore, I can just click remove, takes it off, I can remove the file, click remove, and it's gone. So that is a, a quick overview of how to edit pages uh, using Google Sites.